This is the Nike Span 3. Looking at this, it looks like a pretty good shoe. It looks nice. Style wise, it looks pretty good. But it's actually a really nice shoe and I really enjoyed running in this. The upper has a mesh upper uh, on the toe box, it's pretty breathable. It has a guard on the toe area, so it keeps your toes in and guards you in case you hit anything. It has cable wires, which create a more of a secured and snug lockdown on the midfoot. And I think it's one of the best lockdowns I felt in the Nike budget shoe. It has a stout heel counter, giving it a nice secured lockdown and better stability. And what's really nice for this budget shoe is it has a gusseted tongue, a fully gusseted tongue. So the upper is amazing. It has a secured lockdown. I didn't feel any slipping, any moving around in my runs, and I absolutely enjoyed it. It was breathable. It didn't get overly hot. There was no hot spots in there. And again, with those fly wire cables for the midfoot lockdown, it's very nice, very secured. And especially that gusseted tongue, it, it just doesn't move. It stays in place. It's a really good upper. And moving down to the midsole, the midsole, I think it's cushion long, but it's very nice. It's not overly cushioned, but it gives a pretty nice, decent cushioning feeling as you're running. It has an air zoom unit on the forefoot. And I'll tell you, running in this shoe, it was nice. The transition from heel to toe was really nice. On slower paces, it felt really good. It was cushioned and it was responsive. On faster paces, that's where the zoom air unit on the forefoot really came alive. It was springy, it was sort of bouncy, and it was remaining in its cushioning state, meaning throughout the run, I felt that cushioning feeling, no matter if it was slower paces or faster paces. And at the same time, at the faster paces, I felt a more spring off that toe walk. And it really had a lot to do with that zoom air unit in the forefoot. Absolutely enjoy this shoe. This is definitely a shoe that I'm going to use for daily training. It's really nice. It feels good underfoot. It has a good responsive cushioning feeling. And that air zoom unit, it's one of the best ones I felt. I ran in the Pegasus lineup. I ran in a couple of other shoes that have air zoom units. This is one that it's very prominent. You can, very, you can feel it, it's aggressive. It's, it's up in your face. It's invasive, it's really nice. And going down to the outsole, the outsole design is similar to the Pegasus lineup, but I think that this outsole is one of the most durable outsoles because after running in it a few miles, I haven't seen a single wear or tear in the outsole. It's high abrasion in my opinion, and the design is pretty good, so it gives it pretty good traction. I didn't have had any slipping on wet surfaces. Overall, this is a good shoe. It's a budgeted shoe, and in my opinion, it's better than the Nike Pegasus 37. It doesn't have the React foam, but with that air zoom unit that's in the forefoot, similar to the Pegasus 37, this is actually, to me, in my opinion, a better shoe than Pegasus 37. It has a more lively feel, more bouncier, a little bit more responsive, and a lot more cushioning in my opinion. And it's a budget shoe. Again, it's $80. And maybe you could even find it for a discount. This is a shoe that I definitely recommend that you pick up. It's $80 for retail. You could possibly find this on a discount. And I think that it tops the Pegasus 37. And this is my review on Nike Spend 3. Thank you for watching my pages and we'll see you on the next one.